Okay guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to go through and show you guys how easy it is to download the free downloads that is available from Passion Planner. Right now we are on the main page. So if you go to passionplanner.com, it is right there, okay, passionplanner.com. And you will see the main page, which is here, all of the nice fun goodies that are available but right now we're focusing on the free downloads so as you can see this tab right here that says free downloads it is broken down um, by the different options but i like to click on the free downloads button so i can see everything at once so as you can see there are a bunch of different options here today i'm going to focus on the habit tracker and the reflections page so uh previously since the last time i was on the reflections page the self-care reflection was not available so i'm super excited about this one but this is the habit tracker so we're going to go ahead and click on this one and what i also love about this is that you can pick the size planner that you have or say that you want to put it in a different document you can put pick whatever size that you need and you can do it uh, starting of course on a sunday or a monday start and you can pick the quantity of how many pages that you want to print so after you do all that and you click whatever it is that you need this is just an example of how you can use your habit tracker and all that good stuff as you click the pictures down below you're going to let's select a medium because i do have the medium planner and then also we're going to do a monday start you know i'm a monday start girl so then i'm just going to click buy it now just to kind of get us through this process. So then you can just go ahead and type in all your information. If you already have an account, you can just go ahead and log in. And what it's gonna do is allow you to check out once you continue to payment. Of course, this is a free service here. So it's gonna allow you to check out and then it will send you an email. And on the email, you will be able to download your purchase that you that you had in your cart at checkout. So if we go back, let's check out the self-care reflection, which we're also gonna grab. So click on the self-care reflection. It comes in the small and the large size. So as you know, I have a medium. So that means if I wanted it to fit in my planner, I'm gonna go ahead and go with the small um, because I didn't wanna use a back page or anything like that. Like I wanna be able to see it. And so, yeah, I don't know how I'm, how I'm gonna quite use it yet, but yeah, we're gonna see what happens. So I'm gonna select small of course i'm gonna buy it now go to my cart and look for my email here are some of the examples of how to use the self-care reflection sheet um i think it's it just looks so nice let's get into after we receive the document so once we have received the document in our email it will download and mine downloaded into acrobat acrobat pro dc so um, this is an Adobe software. I'm not sure if you have a different computer if it'll download somewhere else, but this is what mine downloaded to. So we're just gonna print these out and go from there. So let's take a look at the self-care reflection sheet as well. So this is the self-care reflection. So it looks like it's gonna print all on one page because I did do the small option. So once we're ready to print, I'm gonna just go up to the print button on the Adobe screen and it has all the information up here it looks good it looks like it's all going to fit on this one sheet so it looks like it's printing horizontally so let's print and see what happens i'm gonna go ahead over to the habit tracker and do the same thing and this one is printing vertically and click print Okay guys, so this is the printout of the self-care reflection sheet in the small option. It is very small because they had to fit everything on this sheet, but let's kind of go through it really quickly. So there's a self check-in section right here. So I am feeling, and they actually give you, it's almost like a Mad Lib. I don't know if you guys remember those from back in the day when you could actually put in like, it tells you like, okay, put an emotion or put an activity. So that is super cool that it gives you that option. That is really deep. So I think this is really good, you know, just as far as taking care of yourself, 
either if it's weekly, monthly, however you want to use it, but I'm super excited about using it. So right now at the bottom, we have my needs right now and you can circle as many as you like and you can also add your own. So this is another reason why I love Passion Planner. It's like customizable and the aspect of what is what are the goals that you are trying to reach and what are you trying to do in your life. Over here we have my self-care go-to kit. So we're talking about ourselves, moves you love, a grounding habit, form of exercise, hobbies, really nice. And then lastly, we have reflection questions. So it says written in collaboration with Dr. Stephanie J. Wong. So write five affirmations or mantras that resonate with you. What is your biggest strength and how can you use it to guide you in this moment? And who or what makes your life meaningful right now? At least at least three and describe why. So super excited about this and how i'm going to use this in my planner okay so here we have the habit tracker resource in the size medium with the monday start and as you can see this is pretty straightforward you have the habit and you have the days of the week and your reward for that habit um so really nice you can just cut along the boxes and you can glue it right into your planner so right now what i'm going to do is pull out my planner and kind of show you guys how I will put it in my planner and how I'm going to use it within my planner. So what I decided to do was I was going to use both of my planners to use both of these resources. So instead of cutting this up and putting it in different spaces i wanted it all to stay together so i am going to use one of the back pages of my passion planner so in the back of the passion planner you get some free space pages blank pages dotted dotted pages um so these are in the back of your passion planner so i'm going to use one of these free spaces and what i'm going to do is i'm going to put it in my planner just like this and as you saw earlier i did trim some off but of course it still looks too big so i think what i'm going to do now is i'm going to cut it again i'm trying to figure out the best way to do this or if I, maybe if i had a do a layer effect maybe let's see if we cut You want to do it like this so you guys you can do this any way that you want to do it um i'm just trying to figure out what works best for me so i'm thinking if i put this here and then if i put this here i will be able to then kind of have a free space to kind of jot or doodle whatever it is i want to add to this self-care reflection so that's what i think i'm going to do I have this roll on tape it seems to be easy when you're trying to stick things down so i'm going to use that and see what happens from there okay guys so i have these placed in here and now let me go and work on my daily so we're going to put the habit tracker in here and this is coming off the edge a little bit and i do want to use this whole space so i'm going to actually cut this side off okay guys so that's how super easy it is to download the free resources from passion planner and put them in your planners i hope that you guys enjoy this video i hope that you're able to try out some of the free resources available from passion planner Remember, you can always use my code AshleyH10 to save 10%. The link will be in the bio for you to use as well as the code. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that this helps. Talk to you soon. Bye.